Vitali from Russia. This is Gunther from Moscow. Come with us. Come on board of Umadum. It's a uh, looping 45, one of the best performance cruising catamarans around. This catamaran was designed by Patrick Lucher and it was built in 2006 in France by amateurs. This is performance cruising catamaran, but still it's very, very comfortable to live on. And besides uh, the whole boat, the boat tour, we will show you some, some little, little tiny details, uh, which in our experience of 25 years of cruising makes your life much, much better on board. Welcome aboard. Aboard Umadum. Here you see our cockpit, our living room while we are sailing and especially at anchor. A terrace with a sea view. It's divided in two areas. The sitting, dining, sundowner, film watching, chatting area. The second area is at anchor, our spice garden and when we are sailing it's the working area. And for sure, when we're sailing, we put all these plants inside the salon. It takes us about 5-10 minutes and then we have again the working space in the cockpit. In our garden, we see you. We grow uh, herbs for our kitchen. So we are cooking with rosemary, basilicum, parsley, oregano. Some plants we have for medication, like aloe vera, like kalanhoe, and one plant we have as a good memory from, from our beloved island Madagascar, it's vanilla. The whole cockpit uh, is shadowed by the roof. You can open a sliding door uh, for hand steering. We do hand steering only when we are going into harbor or anchorage. By the way, Patrick Lusha, the designer of this boat, uh, was uh, living on board for many, many years. And you can see this in uh, many little details. We will show you later uh, some of these uh, little tiny details, which makes the life, the cruising life, much, much easier. When I had uh, the first look uh, to this boat, I went in uh, the door, had a look around and I felt immediately at home. It's like searching for a house or for a flat. It's very, very seldom uh, that you feel at home at the first sight. Okay, let's go inside and have a look to the salon. I have rarely seen an extra settee in the saloon. I like to sleep upstairs on ocean passages, uh, so I sleep here, uh, in the center of the action, if Tali needs my assistance. Nav station with instrument repeaters inside, big, big table, where we normally edit our films or I edit my photos. We normally do dining outside in our terrace. Uh, by the way, we like the upstairs kitchen uh, with uh, the sliding uh, window connecting to the cockpit. 
you are not excluded, uh, you are not a kitchen slave and you can look to the beautiful sunsets while cooking. An oven is a household standard one. We bake here uh, three loaves of bread and pizza it was at the same time. Uh, both ovens normally much smaller so it's a lot of gas goes for nothing. And here the fridge and the freezer. Uh, I had not even had a fridge on the last two boats, uh, so I'm happy with this. I, I like the fridge, but I love the freezer. If you catch a big fish and uh, uh, you are sailing and you are busy and don't have to uh, deal uh, too much with uh, the fish, just put it in the freezer. I actually don't like the, these top loaders. The idea that there are more power saving comes from the times when they had really bad compressors. In the time you are searching for your self-caught lobster, warm air is feeding in and you can see that the temperature goes up many, many degrees. If you have a fridge or a freezer with drawers, the time uh, for getting in there and getting the things out is less than 20 seconds. Much less opening time and much less wasting power. A lot of storage for pans and pots and a lot of storage for food. We normally provision for two, three months at least. That's what you learn when you start cruising. First, we buy where it's cheap. Second, uh, some things not available everywhere. For example, in Madagascar, uh, we didn't have, we couldn't buy oats. Uh, our favorite breakfast with a lot of uh, homemade yogurt and local fruits. Third, on ocean passages you never know what happens. Our planned three weeks crossing of the Indian Ocean in the end lasted seven weeks. Uh, a shackle was, was uh, broken, not broken, bent uh, on the mainsail halyard and we, we were actually drifting. Uh, uh, for, for days and days till we could repair it and in the end we changed our plans. And the fourth, uh, our cruising style is very slow. If we come to the bay and we like this bay, we would like to stay there, I don't know, weeks and weeks. So we can stay with our provisioning easy. By the way, try it. It's the only way to get a decent contact with the locals, which is actually one of the highlights of our travel. Get rid of this travel style. Fast, fast, we have to say, see thousand anchorages in, in this year. Uh, it doesn't work. We got friends with a uh, local band, Mapania band. We invited them for dinner and they brought their instruments. I don't know, maybe Umadom is the first and only catamaran which had a live band uh, playing in the cockpit. You will never forget things like this in your life. Uh, it's just wonderful. If you are interested, have a look to our film Impressions of Tanzania. Okay, back to Umadum. Water tanks are down below here uh, in a place uh, where the weight is center in the center of the boat. This is very important for the boat's movement. We both like to cook yummy and healthy food. You know what we have tonight for dinner? Rasta pasta with kalalu. So, we don't like uh, to eat food from cans, even on ocean passages. Life is too short to eat bad. Because of the easy motions of the boat, uh, we are cooking even on passage. Even in 35 knots of wind and 5 meter cross seas. We included our daily menu in the film about our South Atlantic crossing. Have a look how we did it and what we cooked on a 25 days passage. I promised you to show you the little uh, small details which improve the cruising life a lot. Here is the self-ventilation system. The wind blows in through the anchor locker and we have four outlets in the boat. 
two in the house and two in the salon. Imagine it's rainy season, 30 degrees, temperature, 95% uh, humidity, all windows close, sauna time. I have only one or two times seen this system on a catamaran and it's so easy to build in. It's uh, really uh, not much effort and it gives uh, so much uh, positive effect on your lifestyle. Actually, uh, all these wonderful details are mostly wonderful sophisticated holes. And this is what I like most of it all uh, in our kitchen. And this is a hole for organic rubbish. And all peels uh, goes straight to the sea. A wonderful lunch for fish. Okay, come and have a look down into the house. The aft cabins are more or less the same on both house. A double bed, 200 by 150, about queen size. Another wonderful detail, a little window in the sleeping room. And this little window is under the bridge deck, so you can leave it open even if it's rain. And this you don't uh, learn on boat shows, you, sh you learn it only in the reality of the cruising life. Here we have the office, uh, sometimes we work here, it's uh, much cooler here than in the salon. Water maker, 12 volts, 60 liters per hour. Toilet, bathroom, shower. As we sail mostly in the tropics, we always used the shower in the back of the boat outside. So this is now the new place for the washing machine. A top loader, which weighs nearly nothing compared to front loaders. And a washing machine, honestly, it's a must here in the Caribbean, especially in the Caribbean, uh, where laundry is incredibly expensive. the other hall. The sleeping room in the other hall is nearly identical. Queen berth, little window for ventilation. Uh, when I bought the boat here was a second bathroom, we didn't need it. I rebuilt it and now here are all the tools, the spare parts, the bicycles, the parachute anchor and the storm sail. Apropos parachute anchor, I think it's a very very essential tool on a cruising boat. We never had to use it, uh, luckily, uh, till now. But if you come into a storm, and I don't mean uh, 50 knots of wind, I mean uh, in a storm where the waves start breaking uh, uh, and where you have the idea you get in survival mode. If your boat gets faster and faster, uh, uh, running down the waves, uh, even when you are sailing bare pole without any sails. Then it's time to deploy uh, the parachute anchor. Uh, to the front of the boat, it's acting actually like, like an anchor. You are sitting like in the anchorage. And uh, people who used it, I never used it till now, luckily, but people who used it uh, tell that it's very, very safe and even comfortable. And the front cabin. But please, better not to look on it. We are going into the, sh uh, we are going to the shipyard in the next weeks, so we are organizing the boat. It's a mess. It's a small double bed, but normally we are using it for storage. So, that's enough for today, uh, let's have a drink and enjoy dinner, cheers! <gasps> we forgot, we forgot to talk about our toys, about our bicycles, about our sea canoes. Ah, we have so much more to tell. 
uh, in one of our next films we will show you how we sail uh, the looping 45 and give you some technical details of Umadum. Hope you enjoyed your visit on our looping 45. Umadum. 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 <laughs>